Okay. Yeah. You'll just erase the little first part. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, it's my honor to introduce uh, Mr. Lin, who is my best friend in KU. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he is the director of the International Friends at, at KU. He has been working here about uh, uh, from the 1988 until uh, now. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a lot of international friends. He has a lot of uh, experience about uh, how in international students adapt uh, in American life. So I have some question about uh, uh, about the. Uh, how to live in a KU more comfortable, how to make friends with the American people. So I have maybe th uh, many uh, three questions about that. Firstly, I want to ask them about what is uh, your most important suggestion to for each international students when you when they just arrive at KU? And you mean when they just arrive at the yeah. beginning? Yeah. You know, I think. I, well, I wish that every international student would go through the international student orientation when they first arrive. Yeah. Because my experience is the people who go through that orientation mm -hmm. uh, adjust very quickly, they make lots of friends, they feel very comfortable, mm -hmm. and it helps them um, mm -hmm. accomplish several things at the beginning, from mm -hmm. getting a cell phone to a mm -hmm. bank account to yeah. learning how to interact in American classes, mm -hmm. to legal issues. And I think if there was one thing I would tell people to do is go to international student orientation. Yeah. I just think it's really helpful. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, that group is the uh, most important for international students because mm -hmm. I have some most uh, uh, price, price uh, experience in your group. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Okay, so how can international students relieve from the culture shock? Mm -hmm. as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. it's, well, I think this is uh, almost the first question uh, ever international students want to ask. Mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, culture shock really can be yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> it can be. And I do think that one of the uh, most important things to do, I'm going to say it as a negative, and that is do not isolate yourself. Mm -hmm. um, it's so common that when people come to a different culture, they feel insecure, they do not feel safe, mm -hmm. they feel uh, it's difficult to relate to people, and so Chinese people mm -hmm. all get together with Chinese, Chinese Japanese, Japanese yeah. all get with Japanese, whatever. And I think that's the biggest single mistake people mm -hmm. make, is isolating themselves. And so two parts of that that I was thinking of uh, mm -hmm. about not isolating yourself is that I really think, uh, for the first place, don't simply study all the time. Mm -hmm. Some people come and, of course, they're here to study, mm -hmm. and so they just study. It's a part study, of life. study, study, and yeah, yeah. Instead of realizing study is one thing, but there mm -hmm. are many other mm -hmm. things, yeah, and so I'd say, right. have fun. Yeah. You know, go to KU basketball games or yeah. football games. Go to those things, or go to special events that are happening, whether they're concerts or plays or movies. Mm -hmm. Go outside when it's beautiful and yeah. have a picnic, and go to Clinton Lake, yeah. and just have fun. You know, on one hand. On the other side of this, I think uh, it's really important to, instead of just being with people from your own group, mm -hmm. uh, make friends from other cultures, mm -hmm. and especially Americans, you know, if at all possible, meet other Americans. Um, and you can do that by getting to know other students. There are 20,000 students here. Mm -hmm. yeah and American families that are in Lawrence also. Mm -hmm. I think if a person sort of gets out of their own little circle and has fun, and then they get out of their own little cultural circle and meets, mm -hmm. meet people from other cultures, and mm -hmm. especially get into American culture, mm -hmm. it just changes everything. Yeah. And I think they get over the culture shock more, more easily and more yeah. quickly. Yeah, I think uh, every student, international students always be afraid, be afraid of 
and to uh, realize the American life. Firstly, when they come to U U I come to U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, and how to uh, could you give some advice, uh, suggestion that uh, so, uh, this kind of citizens can can make the first friends in America. Mm, the first the friends. The first is always very important. Yes, it is. It's very difficult yes. for them. Yes. Well, again, international student orientation, mm, always. I think, is a great place to make yeah. the first friends. And then what students need to learn to do is simply say hello. Oh, yeah. That's, it's so simple, but whenever they go to a class, Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Jun Chin. Yeah, yeah. I'm from China. You know, yeah, okay. just introduce themselves and reach out. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll find that some Americans are afraid of internationals mm -hmm. because yeah. they're afraid they won't understand or something. But most people are really friendly yeah. and they'll want to, yeah. you know, become friends. But you just have to reach out. And uh, you need to take responsibility to reach yeah. out and introduce yourself to people. I think if you do that, you will make friends. Yeah. The, and the other thing yeah. I'd say is get involved in groups of some sort mm -hmm. at KU. Mm -hmm. Obviously, international friends is one option, but mm -hmm. get into something. If you love singing, join a group that sings. Mm -hmm. If you love dancing, join a group that dances. Mm -hmm. If you like, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and you'll just make friends because you're in some group that's sharing an activity together. Yeah, but I feel that the the big problems are to 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 make the international students hardly to make friends is language. Mm -hmm. The right. language right. is a big problem. Right. It's the big barrel yeah. between uh, myself or my international students with the. Uh, yeah. So English is uh, so I agree. day by day. I agree. And there's only one way to improve your English. Yeah, yeah. Talk. Uh, <laughs> just the talk. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah, saying hello and just as much as possible, just using your language. Yeah. But I, uh, in my opinion, that uh, when I learn in China, mm -hmm. I learn in, uh, uh, I learn English there. Uh, always, uh, my teacher always teach my um, teach my English uh, depend on the grammar. Mm. So, but uh, fortunately, right. I found that I can speak some English. Maybe uh, that is not very uh, suit uh, suit with the grammar. But uh, American people can understand what I said. Uh, so it is great, I think. Yeah. So uh, international students can just uh, speak. American people can't understand you what you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yet most of them, even if they can't understand, yeah, you know they'll they'll listen and yeah. you know, yeah. and you will improve. Yeah. of course that's part of what you know why we have conversation partners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that is that's great. Way. I do think conversation that's partners is one of the best things people can do is just yeah. because it's someone who will sit down for one hour, mm -hmm. drink tea and talk. Mm, yeah. There's nothing better than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they will be patient. Yeah. They want to help, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. 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 So finally I think I have the question about how can your group really help international students to make their time here mm -hmm. enjoyable and enrich beyond the classroom through the friendship and uh, many activities. Mm -hmm. Well, in International Friends, my hope is always that it really is a place where you find friends. Mm -hmm. You know, International Friends, people from all over the, the world, really, mm -hmm. plus Americans. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that coming to, whether it's our Friday night dinner and discovery mm -hmm. or our holiday events or any of these things, the singing mm -hmm. thing that we have, mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it makes a difference because people do make friends. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that when you're new, you want a place where you belong. Mm -hmm. And hopefully International Friends is a place where people really can feel like I belong mm -hmm. here. Yeah. I fit here. You have the feeling of the home. Right. You have a feeling that you're accepted mm -hmm. and especially that it's safe. Mm -hmm. It's safe and I don't have to worry about my language. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking in English but everybody is patient, you yeah. know, and we're we're yeah. helping each other. And then 
the other thing about International Friends that is, mm -hmm. is special is that it's a place where you find not just about American culture, but mm -hmm. about the religious side of American culture too, since it's a Christian group. Mm -hmm. So people have the chance to learn some more about the Bible and Jesus, Christianity, yeah. um, uh, partly because of our weekly discussions, mm -hmm. partly because of all the holiday events mm -hmm. around Christmas or mm -hmm. Easter or Thanksgiving or any of those things. And, yeah. Yeah, I think those are the things that people really like about International Friends. Yeah. So, um, could you tell me on what, uh, we, uh, on what the events is your regular events during the mm. academic year? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the weekly events that we have are weekly. Friday night, Friday night, the dinner and discovery, it. and then this year we've had our uh, singing time on yeah. Wednesday night. Yeah. Uh, English by singing and laughing, we mm -hmm. call it. Mm -hmm. um, and those are really the only two weekly events, other than if you're in the conversation partner group, mm -hmm. you know, then you have your conversation partner weekly. Mm -hmm. But then beyond that, mm -hmm. goodness, we do lots of different things. Yeah. They're the same every year. Yeah, we have yeah. our big welcome yeah. at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. We have our um, trip to the Renaissance Festival. Mm -hmm our trip to Topeka to see this, the yeah. state capitol. Yeah, yeah. Then we have our, our Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and mm -hmm. Easter, all of those holiday events and yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Len. Yeah. Based on my opinion and experience, I found that if you, if you uh, go to the uh, uh, the group, you can find the uh, not only experience in Lawrence, you can also find the experience in America. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now.